It's unusual to go somewhere so amazing. After visiting Beijing for the first time, I don't think anywhere has left such a huge impression on me before. Prior to the trip, this would be the second time I exited Britain since moving to the country in 2004. This would also be the furthest I travelled away from the UK and from Europe, to the part of the world known as East Asia, via two five-hour flights. Before this trip, we had lessons on what to expect when we arrived in China, and about the language. Even with this, however, it doesn't compare to being in China itself, and having to learn via using the language to talk to locals. This opened up the possibility, with the help of a friend, to guide us along to explore Beijing and see all the fantastic sights. Beijing is large. When we first arrived, we had one day to ourselves to explore and to sell into the two weeks we were in Beijing. So, I decided to venture out. Starting from where we were stationed, I walked for two hours straight in one direction to find myself here. Maps don't do Beijing justice. Luckily, we stayed in halls next to Beijing Union University for two weeks. So, we never had to walk far to our classes that we had whilst at the university. There, we were given lessons to further our knowledge of Chinese and to help improve our language skills. We also had art lessons like painting, not making, and paper craft. We also got to see the Tourism Practice Training Center. We also got to play some golf. Hey. 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 We visited a huge number of places, places like Ho Hai Park, where you could be boated around the lake. We visited many different temples, each with their own vast amount of history. It was like walking into a different time with how well preserved each and every one of them is. We got to visit the Forbidden Sea. It's 
hard to say how many people will fit into this one place. As you can see, the size of the Forbidden City is massive. We also got to walk up the Great Wall of China. Unfortunate for us, but if you want some great views, the 2008 Olympic Stadium allows you to venture onto the roof. Hope you're not scared of heights. In our own time, we travel to Beijing Zoo. took part in the local nightlife. Travel to the center of Beijing. We got to visit many shops and high streets in Beijing. along with tasting some amazing food. And some not so amazing food. It's an acquired taste. Nice. <laughs> I never got to experience such a vast and beautiful place filled with so much culture. We'd like to say thanks to the Confucius Institute and Beijing Union University for creating such a fantastic trip. along with the University of Wales, Trinity St. David's, and Swansea University. It was an unforgettable trip. I would love to happily venture out to Beijing again.